Uh, good afternoon. This is part three of the series of curriculum basis, and today we are going to talk about its curricular models. Before I start anything, one should get a concept of model. What a model is? What is the meaning of model? In fact, curriculum models are tools used in development and implementation of curriculum. So, a model is a tool which is available to us, which helps us in development of a curriculum, of a development of a curriculum document. It can have several different formats. A curriculum model is chosen by a college and determined on actual needs and resources, it acts as a guide to write a curriculum. For example, let us say if I want to make a house, there is one way is I take my needs and develop a house as I feel like. Other way is that there are models available, I go see the model, choose a model according to my need and then keeping that model in my mind make a design of the house which I want to live in. Historically, one framework or the model which can help in making a curriculum was 2 plus 2 curricular model of Flexner. In year 1 or 2, pre-clinical subjects are taught, in year 3 and 4, clinical subjects are taught. So curriculum, four years, first two years pre-clinical, last two years for clinical. One can also define a model by the organization of the content. Okay, how you are going to organize the content in a curriculum? It could be system organ based model in which content is integrated around organs and systems of the body. It could be clinical presentation based model or theme model that content is integrated around clinical presentations or themes. It's a framework, it's a model which we are going to select according to our needs, which is a good one and then we are going to make the curriculum of our college accordingly. It could be defined by teaching strategies. There could be many teaching strategies which could be, for example, problem based learning model in which the teaching method being used is problem based learning pre predominantly. So therefore, when we are writing a curricular document, this is going to be one center of focus around which the curriculum document will be written. Case based model, predominantly teaching method is case based learning or task based model, predominantly teaching method is task based learning. A point to remember in this thing is, as I gave the initial example, in selecting a model of a house, if you want to build a house, one model may not fulfill the whole needs. So therefore, we have to combine two models together to make a model of the house which I want, to make a curriculum which my college wants. Then if we are using problem-based learning as a teaching method, then there could be different curriculum models. There could be one in which is without PBL model, lectures or tutorials are used without PBL as a teaching method. Perfectly okay, that is one model. Hybrid PBL model, lectures or tutorials are judicially used with PBL. Pure PBL model, lectures or tutorials are not used, PBL being used as a teaching method exclusively. There could be also a curriculum model. What should be a starting point? Should we D1 
define what first competency based model is the competencies is the starting point of developing a curriculum and the competency as you are the overarching set of knowledge skill and attitudes required to practice safely and effectively without direct supervision obviously once a competencies have been written which we want in our doctor from that then we can divide develop sub competencies then we can develop learning outcomes but if we don't define the competencies but we start making the curriculum from learning outcome it will be outcome based model learning outcome is the starting point of developing the curriculum then it will be defined by social responsibility a community oriented curriculum is a curriculum is based on the needs of the community where setting of teaching and learning is usually the hospital there is another also which is community based curriculum model curriculum is based on the needs of the community where setting of teaching and learning is community a very important setting in addition to hospital is the community itself where a student goes and learns i hope this helps you to understand the nomenclature of curriculum models depending upon the need of a medical college the resources of the medical college and the aim mission and vision of the medical college and the requirement of the regulatory bodies what the things should be present in a medical college in a country while developing curriculum one can choose any of these models or can combine more than one models to make a curriculum of the college and when that curriculum will be written in form of a document it will be called as a documented curriculum or the official curriculum and in that the important components would be in addition to which and mission these things there has to be learning outcomes there care has to be teaching and learning strategies there has to be assessment plan and things related to that i hope this helps you to understand have a good day see you later